Alright guys, welcome back. So, on today's video, I am showing an alternative to laying in the snow and ice and beating these with a hammer. If you've done this for any amount of time in the winter time, look, there's the snow and ice, you know how much of a pain this can be. It just kills the shoulders uh, trying to free up the brake shoe from the drum. So we're going to evenly heat the drum throughout uh, with the blue wrench, a.k.a. the torch. And that will allow the shoe to remain colder than the drum, which over time will release the shoe from the drum. And this mostly happens from pulling the red button in the truck. Uh while your brakes are still warm. So if you can prevent that uh, just by not pulling the red button and leaving your, if you're parked on level ground, leaving your trailers uh, with air supplied to them, usually this doesn't happen, even if it bleeds off in the middle of the night once the brakes have cooled down. So we're just gonna evenly heat the brakes and this is about to pop. And you might be wondering, how big of a problem is this really? The brake shoes, staying frozen to the drums. I've literally seen guys pull these 40 miles without the brakes popping free and ruining sets of tires. So doing your checks in the wintertime, once you're supplying air to your trailers to make sure the shoes aren't touching the drums, is somewhat critical because it can cost you big in tires. So this might save you hundreds of dollars if you pay a little more attention. And on that note, thanks for tuning in again. Hopefully this helps you out in your trucking in the wintertime.